Hey you guys, welcome back. <laughs> I feel like you should be saying welcome back to me, but anyway, welcome back to my channel. If you are an, if you are a subscriber, <laughs> let's try that again. <laughs> hey you guys, welcome back, or maybe you should say welcome back to me. Thank you, I'm back. Uh, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your love. I see we've got 51 of you. I I appreciate you. You don't have to do it, but you do, and I love that. Um, it makes what I do just so much more worthwhile. I mean, if I had no subscribers, I wouldn't, you know, really feel the urge to come on here, because, I mean, who would you be doing it for? Nonetheless... I appreciate you and I love you and I thank you. If you are new, welcome. I am Rochelle, aka Rosie Fro, and you know I do a little bit of hair and but we'll see what happens as God leads us in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, if you are someone who is viewing my channel and you have not yet subscribed, I mean, like, what are you doing? Are you just coming here to like be entertained? subscribe it helps me it helps you it helps the world so hit the subscribe button and i've got my tea here to comfort me because i feel very nervous and very awkward after a long time of not you know speaking to a camera the last couple of videos that you saw were um a vlog in two parts for my husband's birthday that was lots of fun i don't know if you guys liked it i don't think you did but it's all good in the hood and just a lot has happened since then and that's the purpose of today's video to just kind of share with you what i've been experiencing and perhaps also why i haven't been posting so maybe i should start with a little bit of you know like a timeline of what happened so the last video you saw was my husband's birthday party um or birthday celebration weekend in two in two vlogs and that was in july i think and so what happened since then was that we actually got sick we got sick we had a little bit of cold and it was very unpleasant we were down for two days what am i saying we were down for like <clears throat> a few days close to a week and we didn't really feel like ourselves up until like after maybe seven or 14 days and it was tough i mean we haven't really it wasn't COVID, by the way we haven't really been that ill but i think if there are two of you and you're kind of just passing the germs back and forth it gets difficult but thank god we came out of it we were well we were happy but you know that little journey or that little time period where i was ill and i think it's the same for him because we've spoken about it i really think that god was trying to talk to us he was trying to slow us down because we were doing everything you know we were um, filling up our days with all activities, all the activities that we really wanted to do, things that we're passionate about. We were working, we were seeing family and friends. And you know, sometimes when you're so busy, you can't really hear what God's trying to tell you because you're out here just listening to yourself. So <laughs> I know it happens to all of us. I know we're not perfect and thank God for his patience. Um, but yeah, basically that happened we had a major like um revelation and we kind of needed to do things differently going into the rest of the year and that's what we did uh also we got the vaccine that was great so much fun so we got one jab each we're waiting for our next appointment and just you know i feel so grateful to to be able to to take the vaccine please understand that this is in no way me encouraging you to do it please do whatever it is you feel led to do but you know i've been praying for a solution to this problem that we've been having in the world in our country and i believe in my heart that this was god answering that prayer and so i felt really grateful because i've seen several people die close to me and not so close to me um but it's not fun seeing people die and so we had our first jab praise the lord we're great and right after that we had our second wedding anniversary so that happened on the 24th of august and the weekend kind of before that or the week yeah the weekend before the 24th the 24th was on a tuesday we um booked ourselves in at a hotel and we just had the best time and let me tell you 
something that I learned or, or that kind of came to me while we were on holiday is we don't do this often like we really don't and I think it's just the thing about guilt you feel like you don't really deserve to have nice things you don't feel like you deserve to take a break or you deserve to just clock out of work and whatever and 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 just experience life and just enjoy life I know we feel guilty about that because there's something to be said about the way in which people view being productive all the time and being busy and being on it so I think we fell into that trap and but thank God again you know we booked ourselves in we had the most fun we swam we spent our first time together at a, in a jacuzzi no it wasn't his first time it was my first time it was both of our first time it was also our first time in a sauna you know we were just we were just having so much fun we had dinner at restaurants that we wouldn't normally go to so we had a great time thank god and one of the things that kind of came to me in that moment was i love to observe i'm i'm an observer so you know i was at the pool area i was just like looking at the people who came here to swim or maybe they're staying at the hotel or maybe it's just a day pass or maybe they're resting the spa and you know i look at these people and i think to myself oh my god you're like out here living it's a tuesday <laughs> you just yeah, one guy fell asleep at the pool one chick had a day pass i know that because i saw her leaving the hotel she just came in she swam she got into a shower she left i was like do people do this oh my and you know I, I i just in that moment i said you know lord i'm gonna take this with me that i will enjoy life be grateful for what you have and where you are and enjoy it you know if you have an opportunity to go somewhere you've never been before don't say no as your first answer because you're scared or because you're nervous or you have your own reservations um say yes to new experiences say yes to saving up a little bit of money and going away on a weekend say yes to taking a long drive say yes to taking a walk in the evening say yes to doing the things that make you feel alive i know that's cliche but i i really do mean it like <sighs> we've come through a tough couple of months and we're still at war i believe with this virus and this pandemic um but we're still here we're still alive and i don't know how this video turned into a preaching holy spirit have your way okay i just really want to end it off there and say that what i've learned in these couple of weeks is just to be grateful and just to enjoy everything when, when there is an opportunity to go outside go outside when there is an opportunity to do something that makes you feel alive do it don't just you know say no and i can be guilty of that sometimes because sometimes i fear a new experience or I fear the way in which people will perceive me if I go to this event uh, side note side note because this actually came into into being just the other day my husband and I um, we went for a walk we went for a walk and we decided that we were going to walk at the waterfront but when we got there it was raining so we we're like okay no problem we're gonna walk inside the mall so now I'm wearing my walk walk outside in the winter clothes I'm wearing track pants and you know a track top and but it's not coordinated it's not looking the best anyway Louis Vuitton had fragrances in their window and I'd recognized one of it from social media and I said to him oh my goodness I really want to smell that and he said okay cool let's go inside and I was like mm, I'm not going inside look at what I'm wearing he's like let's go inside like what are they gonna do are they gonna chase us out anyway I thought to myself Rochelle just let go of the way in which you think people are going to view you and just go inside so anyway i went inside we were so welcomed the lady was so you know attentive she was so she was just the bomb anyway the point is when i save up enough money i'm gonna buy that fragrance because it actually turned out to be so beautiful so you know if i did not tell myself in that moment just be brave and and do the thing that you really want to do i would not have had that experience so there was an opportunity again to just practice what i had learned okay let's move on over to what i'm actually here to tell you let me drink my tea all right so what i really want to talk to you about is my hair update so i really love the way that it's looking today and 
sorry. What I want to say about that is that I've actually been struggling with my hair this winter and I don't know if this has been the same for you or if I'm the only one, but I really, really, really battled. I faced days when I had just like super dry hair. I was struggling to keep my routine. I was struggling to be consistent. I was struggling to figure out which style is the one that works for me. And so I was doing everything. I was doing a little bit of everything. I would, you know, wash my hair inconsistently. I would do every seventh day and then I would do every... You know, it was just a mess. It was a mess. And on top of that, bought some products that was just... Not was, were. The products were not doing it. It was not... So I was very frustrated. Dry hair, products that are not working. Um, you know, just like battling to... to, to do the thing that I really want to do, which is really care for my hair to keep it healthy. And so in all of that, I also um, learned that I am protein sensitive. So I have low porosity hair. Well, for the, mo for the most part of my hair, it's low porosity. I have some parts that are more um, porous than others, but I suppose it's like that on everyone's head because your hair is just so multifaceted and all of those good things. So for the most part, it is low porosity. So obviously there are a few things that I need to do to make sure that I can get the moisture in, that I can really care for it and give it the attention it needs to, uh, to glow and to grow and to flourish and to do all the things it wants to do. But to be honest with you, my mind was not really in the right place. I think I got to the point where I was like so frustrated. I was just like, I'm not paying attention to this hair anymore. So what had happened was a friend of mine, you know who you are and I love you so much. Um, she put me onto a deep conditioning treatment from uh, Pant, um, what am I saying? Dove, Dove, it was Dove. But I did not pay attention to the name that she gave me. And so I bought the incorrect one. Anyway, I tried the, the deep conditioner. I loved it. It, re it really, you know, gave me good slip. But after a while, I realized what, what is happening to my hair? It feels like straw. It feels like, you know, it just doesn't feel like itself. It's not as big as it usually is. And as I was doing a little bit of research, I, re I realized that those were symptoms of, you know, protein damage or whatever the heck it's called. Um, but basically that my hair did not really like the type of protein that I was giving it. Now, I do know that if you have low porosity hair, um, they say that your, your hair can absorb protein in smaller molecules. I think you have to um, look out for things like hydrolyzed protein because the molecules are smaller. In this instance, it was like straight up keratin or something. It was like, and my hair did not agree with it. And anyway, it pushed me down a further rabbit hole where I was just, I was so, so sad. I was so sad. I felt like I could cry. I was like, what? Did I do? I felt like I was gonna cut my hair off and just start all over again. And I remember relaying this to my husband and he was just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm like, do you not feel my emotion? I realized, you know what? Let me take myself on a different journey. And so, you know, I started um, just looking for other YouTubers who could tell me a little more about protein damage and you know, how to kind of, um, get back from it, um, which led into how to properly care for my low porosity hair, which led into some of the realizing that I've been doing a couple of things wrong. Um, and one of those things was probably that I was inconsistent. I think that's the worst thing you can do is be inconsistent because your hair doesn't really know how to act. And because I, I work out during the week, um, it affects my hair. Obviously it affects my scalp. And if I'm not consistent, I really can do damage that I'm not intending to do. So that's basically what happened to me. I also want to say that even in this process, I thought that it was the products. And I spent some more money on products. And then I was like, I really can't keep doing this because I have a bunch of stuff that I've paid for that I'm not using. And that's not that's really not working for me. So, you know, I really, I really, really felt so low. And that's one of the reasons why probably the main reason why I didn't really post on YouTube because I didn't feel like I had anything to say to you. I didn't feel like I had anything of value that I could contribute. And quite frankly, I felt like a hypocrite. I felt like I'm here telling you about hair, but I don't have my own hair under, you know, under control or 
I don't feel confident around my own hair routine. And, you know, it took me back to a previous video of mine where I spoke about how to care for your natural hair or something. I don't know. I'll put it up in the cards. Um, but basically, one of the things that I, that I always encourage people to do is to have patience. To have patience. And the other thing is to have um, a wash day routine. And those are two other things that I did not practice at all. So this is just, you know, to let you know that I'm not perfect either. Like, <sighs> none of us are perfect. And we will fail and we'll say to ourselves that we'll do X and we won't do it. Um, but I just want to say that if you find yourself in a space where you feel really demotivated or just dis discouraged um, in your hair journey, I just want to say that pick yourself up. Pick yourself up. Pick yourself up. You can. Things can get better. Things will get better. Do some research and just try. Try, you know, new things. I'm not saying try new products, please. I don't think products are the answer. I think that figuring out how to work your hair the products just enhance everything they just they come in and they gel but if you don't have a proper routine or you don't really know what you're doing to your hair or you you're not being patient um, with the process to see whether your hair is reacting the way you need it to if you're not you know just paying attention to your hair you won't know so and that's what i was doing i was not paying attention so um throughout my time of doing a little bit of research i stumbled across so many things one of the things were around my low porosity hair was around um moisture training and i do feel like that is something that i don't i don't think my hair knows what's happening because i'm so inconsistent it's just it's just totally confused moisture training is basically the process whereby which you um aim to infuse your hair with as much water uh, as possible number one and number two moisture and hydration throughout your wash day process and one of the key things or two let me say two number one is to have a consistent routine so that your hair can kind of realize what is about to happen so it can feel like on every fifth day i'm going to receive moisture i must keep it for so long and then you know all of those things and then the second thing was to really just maximize the water intake so when you're in the shower Drench your hair with warm water, especially if you have a low porosity hair, just to lift the cuticle so that the water can enter and, and everything else after that. Um, so lots and lots and lots of water. And so I've decided that I am going to give this method a try and it is week, week two. Um, but let me say this first before I talk about moisture training. One of the other things that I realized in this time is that I really want to grow my hair. Now, I know that probably a lot of people who are around me will say, oh, but your hair is growing or your hair has grown or, or all of that. And true, there was a point in time actually in this couple of weeks where I thought, oh no, my hair hasn't grown. And then I twisted it up and the twists were longer than they were before. I'm like, Rochelle, you're just, you're losing your mind. Um, but I've never really focused on making sure, I've never directed my actions toward making sure my hair is healthy and that it is growing. I know that's weird, but sometimes you think that that's where your intention is, but it actually isn't. You're, sometimes your intention is just to just wash your hair and have it look good, or just wash your hair so that you can get on with your life. And I realized that that was me. I wasn't really paying a lot of attention to it or um, directing my energies and my efforts toward making sure that I get the best results for my hair. And so I didn't get the best results for my hair. Simple, one and one makes two, right? So with all of that in mind, I decided that I'm going to do a few things differently, but I also want to document this journey. So I want healthier hair and I want it to grow. I really want to monitor and see its growth and I thought that I would share this with you so that you could keep me accountable but also so that you could you know watch me do it maybe before you do or in fact perhaps this video is confirmation maybe you've had this in your head and your heart for a long time already and so here I come along and this is your sign to just go ahead and, and do it so there are a few things that I'll be doing differently number one is a consistent wash day routine just every seventh day I will wash my hair Number two, I will clarify 
with shampoo. I will not co-wash because I've realized that I, one of the things about low porosity hair is that it is prone to build up and I have 100% experienced that. One of the things that's really helped me is a, you know, the Benton I clay mask, love it. And ACB rinse, love it but you can't be doing that and then slapping products on and then keeping those and you know just adding adding as you go on throughout the week because you need to style your hair into a puff and then you need to do it into a low bun so all of those things really just add product onto your hair and that causes product buildup so i've decided to do a shampoo every week i was already doing that but sometimes you know i had a doubt should i co-wash should i not but shampoo every week number three deep condition with heat now i haven't been very consistent with that i've known that i needed to do it because i do see better results with the deep conditioner when i do it with heat um but i've just been so lazy because it's such a process you have to get into the shower you have to get out put on the heat you know situation with your deep conditioner get back into the shower Ugh. anyway but i've decided you know what rochelle if this is what you want then these are the sacrifices you have to make number four is to apply my leave-in conditioner in the shower um, the reason for that is so that my hair can really absorb as much of the product as it can in a humid, warm environment where the cuticles can still be lifted. Um, but also just to infuse my hair with water while I am uh, applying a leave-in conditioner. And truly, truly, I've seen a difference already when I come out the shower. So then I put a plastic cap on and I proceed to styling. I currently have a gel in my hair. I look forward to talking about this product because I am actually thoroughly impressed. This is day two here and it's so big. Like who gets that with the gel? But anyway, um, I'm gonna give it some more, you know, some more wear and then uh, maybe I'll review the product here for you guys. But I really don't wanna just point out products. I want to go through a routine and I wanna show that to you because I do believe that, because for these two um, wash days, I've used completely different products, completely different nothing was the same and um the results have been quite similar um in the sense that my hair has been softer than it usually is my hair has been moisturized my scalp has not been as itchy and i thought that was normal but i think i was just keeping my hair dirty for way too long that is going to be my journey going forward and i look forward to sharing that with you all i did also um just trim my hair i know that my hair needs to be shaped if you're looking at my hair and you're a hairstylist, come to my house and shape my hair, please. Um, but I'm not a shapist, but I can, I know a little bit about trimming my hair. So I just trimmed off some of the split ends so that we can do a little bit of a length check and we can continuously do this and monitor my growth as we go along. So I'm just going to grab someone from down here. And I just wanted to show you that this is currently the length of my the hair at the back, which stops right here where my bra strap stops before I, you get the cup. So we'll use that measurement. Yes. Yes. Um, the top of my hair is a little bit shorter, obviously. Well, that's not obvious, but it's just the way that it's cut. I don't know how we're measuring this, but we'll use this as a, me <laughs> as a measurement maybe. Um, sure. It is quite long. Okay. So that's where I am. We are going to continuously monitor the length and the growth as we go along. And that is all I wanted to say to you. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. And let me know in the comment section below if you've been struggling with your hair in winter or if you've learned anything new around how to care for your hair that you think could help me or even if you are a low porosity girl struggling in these streets i've been in these streets for years now and i am still struggling so let me know if you're a low po girl and you're struggling in these streets and maybe you've learned something that has helped you share it with me or if there's anything that you would like me to cover for you in this journey going forward that could help you that's it you guys i love you so much Thank you so much for tuning in. May you be blessed and I will see you in my next video, God willing.